Right now on Sunrise, tracking rain showers across the metro and fall-like weather for the week. And we're following breaking news. A woman is dead and a 12-year-old girl and her older sister both shot. What we're learning this morning from Bloomington Police. Film fans still waking up in mourning. The legacy Chadwick Boseman leaves behind after losing a battle with cancer. And a gift that grows how Bluebirds and Blooms is spreading joy to memory care homes around the Twin Cities. Care 11 Sunrise starts now. Good morning. You might have heard a few rumbles of thunder overnight. I heard the first one at 114 woke me Ooh. up. We're tracking those storms outside in Mobile 11 and here in the studio. So let's get right to Tracy with the latest. We are having the storm activity slowly start to dwindle away, but still some rain showers moving across the metro. Notice Rochester, a lot of activity for them. This is all associated with a cold front that's going to continue to work across the state here this morning. And then finally some drier weather behind the rain. But we still have a couple more hours of the isolated downpours near Chaska. A few rumbles of thunder just starting to develop. So this will be ongoing as you get out the door and hit the road. It's going to be cooler and drier by the end of the day. So I'm going to break down all those details coming up. And are dealing with wet roads this morning. A crash, unfortunately, 494 westbound at Portland Avenue. You can see it's blocking that right shoulder out of the Bloomington area. It is causing a minor slowdown for motorists this morning. So if this is your route, maybe give yourself a few extra minutes. We'll have another check of your Sunrise Drive in just a few minutes. Yeah. We're following breaking news this morning in Bloomington. Police say one woman is dead and two sisters are in the hospital after being shot. One of them is only 12 years old. This comes after a tense standoff between a man and police at a home near 84th and 18th Avenue. That is just west of the Mall of America. Kai Edwards is live outside the police station with new details this morning. Kai, what can you tell us? Good morning, Gia. Police just held an early morning press conference, and we've learned that the woman was found dead near a garage. Officers responded at around 11 o'clock last night after hearing or getting multiple reports of gunfire. That was gunfire our crew recorded while on the scene. Police say the suspect and, and one officer exchanged fire. No one was hurt in that exchange. Police say two sisters were in a different home nearby. The 12-year-old girl is in critical condition, and her older sister, a 29-year-old woman, is expected to be okay. You know, our thoughts and prayers go out to the family of those victims. Uh, as we hope and pray that they're able to make a recovery, a full recovery in this particular case. Overnight, police asked neighbors to shelter in place, and just driving by the scene earlier this morning, it was still a very heavy police presence. So just a heads up if you're in this area of Bloomington. Yeah, pretty scary for folks in that area this morning. Kaya, we do hope that uh, the folks in the hospital will be okay. Thank you. Here's a look at some other stories grabbing headlines in your morning rush. Police are trying to figure out who shot and killed a man late Sunday in Minneapolis. It happened around 8 Sunday night at a gas station in the 1800 block of Lowry Avenue North. Police say the man was found shot in a vehicle and taken to the hospital where he died. A recovery mission is still underway for a six-year-old boy who went missing in the water near Boom Island Park. Emergency crews were called to the park around 6 Saturday night. They were told the child vanished after going into the river. Yesterday, people stopped by to put flowers on the bridge while the search continues. Rescue crews are giving an update on the search at 9.30 this morning. A major defensive grab for the Vikings over the weekend. Yannick Ngakwe is coming up north from Jacksonville. The Vikes traded a 2021 second round pick and a conditional 2022 fifth round pick. Ngakwe will take place of Everson Griffin. The 25-year-old had 37 and a half sacks in four years with the Jaguars. And some Minnesotans are helping rebuild down south after Hurricane Laura tore through last week. More than a dozen Red Cross volunteers from Minnesota are helping out with efforts in several states. We talked with a veteran first responder from International Falls, John Decker. He says the toughest part right now is trying to keep people sheltered while also keeping them safe from COVID-19. 
Fans and celebrity friends continue to honor Chadwick Boseman after the 43-year-old Black Panther actor died of colon cancer. In our digital dive, we're going to look at how Hollywood's top stars are paying tribute to his iconic actor. Now, in a statement posted to his Twitter page Friday, he confirmed Boseman passed away at home surrounded by family and loved ones after battling colon cancer for four years. And although his career was cut short, Bozeman is being remembered for his starring roles as Thurgood Marshall, Jackie Robinson in 42, James Brown, and in Black Panther. Avengers co-stars Robert Downey Jr., Don Cheadle, and Chris Evans all posted emotional tributes to Bozeman. Evans called him a true original who had so much amazing work still left to create. Angela Bassett, who played Bozeman's mother in Black Panther, shared a story on our Instagram page about how she first met Chadwick at Howard University when she was there to receive her honorary degree. Bozeman was the student assigned to escort her. She wrote, this young man's dedication was awe-inspiring. His smile contagious, his talent unreal. Rest now, sweet prince. Both Michelle and Barack Obama honored the late actor as well, the former first lady sharing a photo of the two of them at the White House. And in a tribute on Twitter, the president wrote, to be young, gifted, and black, to use that power to give them heroes to look up to, to do it all while in pain. What a use of his years. There were a ton of other celebrities still sharing photos and memories of their time with Bozeman, from Viola Davis to Kenan Thompson, as well as Kamala Harris. And just last night, Minnesota United FC posting this photo of Ja'Cory Hayes on Twitter with the caption, Wakanda Forever. A lot of people sharing Wakanda Forever photos uh, over the weekend. And if you want to read more about Bozeman's impact on black creators, actors, and in the movie industry, we posted more about his life and his legacy right now. It's at carelevin.com. But gee, this was definitely something I think all of us were pretty shocked to find out on Friday uh, that he passed away because he hit his cancer battle for four years. Yeah, it was pretty shocking indeed and really, um, you know, uh, moving to see the tributes and outpouring of support and, and you know, just the impact that he had on even the little kids. And so I, I really just appreciate his time and his work here when we had him. Alicia, thank you. Tracy, let's get to you with our one thing weather. Well, a few school districts starting distance learning today, Bloomington and North St. Paul, Maplewood, Oakdale, going to be dealing with some rain showers early on this morning, but then clearing with plenty of sunshine and definitely feeling like fall this afternoon. And unfortunately, we've had a few crashes to start the work week and school week if you're going back. This is 494 down in the South Metro near Portland Avenue, a crash blocking the right shoulder. Time to connect the dots or we make sense of the news. You may have seen the headlines. A hundred million dollars is now available to help keep people from losing their homes during the pandemic. Let's connect the dots to see how the program works and how to qualify. The pandemic is causing panic for some families. They're behind on the bills and could soon be out of their homes. That's where Minnesota Housing and the Greater Twin Cities United Way can help. The organizations have access to a lot of money through the COVID-19 Housing Assistance Program. It can help cover the essentials like rent, mortgage and utilities. But there's an important timestamp you need to have. The bills had to come in after March 1st and they need to be passed due. The money comes from the Federal CARES Act. You can apply for help by calling the Greater Twin Cities United Way's 211 Resource Helpline or texting MN Rent or MN Home to 898 211. Local administrators will review applications, verify eligibility, and process payments. And that's connecting the dots. Yeah, it's so crucial to find out how to access those funds because there are funds available for aid. You just yeah. need to know how to get them. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to do some digging. Well, does it feel like time is moving differently since the start yes. of this pandemic? You're not the only one. Why experts say our perception is a little warped. Then repurposing plants to bring joy, how Bluebirds and Blooms is using flowers to spread cheer to people with memory issues. And keeping kids safe amid the pandemic, how are school bus companies trying to do that this fall and beyond? I'll show you the list of new rules they now have to follow statewide. That's coming up at 645.